What's up guys? Well, my super here. Um, oil perfumery dupe videos. Um, that's what we're going to be doing today. I just did a video on this. On Pablo Intense. Oh man, it smells so good. Um, get it. If you guys, I recommend that. It's close. Today we're going to be talking about oil perfumery dupes. I have here a, um, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. One's out of the camera, so eight. Yeah, eight. Um, I'm going to give you my pros and cons about these. Longevity. And I'll close the video with a bonus clone, I guess. Um, and how close they are. Actually, I'll close with the video with how close these are. The quality of these are pretty good. And what I mean by that is that the oil isn't, like, uncomfortable. If that makes any sense. Because usually oil can come off a little bit as grimy or something like that. No, these are all natural oils that go well with the skin. Um, they're cheap. I got these on sale. That's why I have so much of them because they're on sale. Um, Christmas weekend and New Year's Day. So I just kept on buying a bunch of them. Um, so these can come out between 14 to $15. And, um, yeah. So we'll go with, um, we'll go with the longevity about these. The longevity on these? It depends what you get. So for me, for an example, honey oud lasts for sure. If they're very strong and potent and they're very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? If they're very potent as the cologne itself, then they're going to be very potent as the oil. But if the oil is very not potent, the cologne's probably not as potent. So for an example... Layton is is a is a projecting is a projector fragrance N not quite so what I like to do with this sometimes is to make up for that is I use it as a shampoo actually so what I do is I mix a little bit of this so I do I um I roll it in my hand and I put a dab of shampoo and I rinse it in my hair so that way if I'm walking through or passing somebody, people smell me as I'm passing by. And I'm physically active all the time at my job. So, um, passing by and being physically active leaves leaves a trail um, with these. Um, so, Layton, it's decent. Uden by Zerjoff, decent. Opus V, I think this one's actually slightly better than these two just slightly better um straight to heaven that one's actually pretty good that one projects pretty good i hate when they leak that's the problem with these sometimes is that if you're not careful they leak so just keep that in mind i don't know if it's because of the new style of the caps that they're going with i don't know it just has not been a good day for these oil things so yeah they leak i don't know if i brought that up at the start of the video but they leak so just be careful about what you do with these um because they do leak so don't put them in your pockets try to leave them in the backpack if they have small little lipstick container organizer thingies in them because my backpack has small pouches where you can actually slide these in so um they're always standing up straight but don't just throw these in your backpack because eventually they do leak um italica by zerjoff oh this is so sweet this is a scent of toffee basically this is like perfect for like date night i have not tried italica but i have tried the italica cologne just so you know these two are pretty damn close that's why i end up getting these because they end up being really close to the actual thing um honey oud lasts Baccarat Rouge, uh, Baccarat Rouge 540, X, the X-Trait, that's why I have the X-Trait. This one is really, really good. The yeah, X-Trait probably lasted me out on my skin probably for like 10 hours. Like I, what I normally do, actually I'll teach you guys how to do the application later. That one lasts, um, on skin. Um, Alexandra the Second, 
There's a very rosy, cinnamon, lavender. It's a weird combination, but it smells so good. If the original <laughs> smells like this, I will, I will pay endless amount of money because this smells fantastic. I'll never get tired of this. I would shower in this. Um, I have an exchange of the second as an oil and as a dupe perfume over there. And they both smell pretty close. Um, I'll end the video with, um, with how to apply these. So you can get the best out of the world out of these. So, um, let me grab one that's not leaking. Go for PSV. So the OBSV or any, what I like to do is I like to go here. Here, 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 and maybe I'll go right here, but I won't roll this on right here like that. I'll maybe go like this, and then I'll go like that. And then sometimes what you can do also, I haven't done it yet, I might try it today, is um, grab the roller, put it in your hands, and you can go like this, I guess. Just make sure you don't have drenched oil on you when you do this because if you have drenched oil on you and doing this you might stain your clothes but if it's lightly there you can spread around your clothes just like that um and yeah these are perfect for if you don't want to dig into your collection like i do uh, right there right camera angles right there right there in that bookcase um i have a bunch so I don't want I don't like digging into them. So usually I have a I have a freshie, which is Udin. I have a slightly sweet Alexandria. I have a popular one which is Buckwart Rouge. Lantern. And I have variety, just so I don't have to dig into my collection. That's why I buy these because I would I would hate to dig into my collection very often for work because I feel like if I'm working for an example, very over, or very over dramatic, five days a week, and I use three sprays of one and three sprays of the other, your collection can start getting low over time. So the um, best way to save your collection is buying the oil perfumery dupes of the original that you have and using these instead. Um, I love these, these are fantastic. It's just some of them, they vary um, on what you get for longevity. Cause like I said, the um, wooded one does not last. The um, Layton one's decent. The Alexandra one is pretty good. Um, and like I said, the Buckeye Rouge 540, usually people say that um, the original lasts. So it does last. I've never tried the original, but people say the original lasts. But if this is, this is a dupe, obviously, so it lasts. And I've worn it maybe probably like two times. One in high heat and then one during the cold outside. And it's really good. I love it. So that's my video for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you guys want me to buy any more of these dupes, I will. Uh, just drop a comment below and tell me which one you want me to buy. And I'll try to get that one next. Peace out.